believe this is your word that you've been waiting for all night. Darwin, where are you? How many know that God is able to do exceedingly? Abundantly above. All you could ask something. According to the power that worketh in us. Hallelujah. How many believe it tonight? Somebody turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, he's able. Tell somebody else, he's able. Y'all ready? Exceedingly, abundantly, above all. Hello and welcome to another Hope Message. We come to you on behalf of www.thereishopeforyourfuture.com. I want to thank you for tuning in, and I know that this message tonight is going to bring you a message of hope. I'm here tonight to introduce to you my brother in Christ, Mr. Marquise Harris. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I call Hi. him Mark. Um, and we're going to discover um, where he gets his hope from where he gets his strength from um, because my brother he has cerebral palsy and that is a condition that I'll let him explain and so that is what we're going to be talking about tonight so this message is going to be giving people who have any disabilities a message of hope not just for now but for the future so Thank you so much, bro. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> For agreeing to um, be interviewed on the subject of your, I won't call it a disability because there's nothing disabled about him. Um, <laughs> I often tell people it's a blessing and a curse because you more so, it's not about what you necessarily cannot do. You just have to find another way to do it. There you go. I like it. So... Tell me and tell us, um, the viewers, about cerebral palsy. What is that? Cerebral palsy is actually a brain disorder that affects certain limbs of the body. Um, cerebral palsy is broken down into several different categories. It starts from anywhere from spastic cerebral palsy, which is the kind I have, to um, ataxia, and then it comes into into different categories like hemiplegic, diplegic, uh, biplegic, and quadriplegic. Quadriplegic is the m most severe form of cerebral palsy because it affects all limbs of the body. And when you see somebody with quad the, the who is in the quadriplegic category, they are usually in a wheelchair. Okay. So I was doing, I did do a little research on cerebral palsy. So mm -hmm. it happens from birth? Yes, it, it does happen from birth. But the disability itself is not progressive. So whatever you have is what you have for life. It's not going to get any worse. Okay. And you still, you still have the same quality of life as everyone else. It's just about what you bring to the table. It's not about, I can't do this, I can't do that. He does this better than me, or she does this better than me. It, it's, you just have to find your own way. Okay. So, now tell us about how it was growing up. Um, at times, it, I felt it to be somewhat difficult because I was, I've always believed that I had to work twice as hard because oftentimes when people look at you because the disability itself is visible if you have it in your legs like I do. I so when when they look at you they automatically go to he can't do this. So it's almost like you're in the race but you have something to prove. You, okay. you have to go as fast as everybody else and you, you have while trying to maintain the same pace as everybody else. I, you got to stay two steps ahead, which, depending on the individual, is all, it's sometimes it's hard to do. It's not as easy as people make it look. Okay. So, now, you 
are a very strong individual. Yeah. Um, and I, I know that you got that from your grandmother. Yeah, my grandmother is my greatest inspiration because I like to think that we have a special connection because I know I am her favorite grandson. Oh, gosh. Um, and yes, I said that on camera. So, so for everybody who sees this, yes, it's all on camera. I know I am her favorite grandson. Um, she has always instilled in me, give it your best or go sit down. And I won't use the word she used, but... <laughs> yes, PG that, version, please. That, give it your best or go sit down. Because okay. you, can, you can do everything everybody else can do. And if people don't like you for you, then they don't need to be part of your life. Okay. Now, I do remember you telling me at one point about your cousin. Yes. Um, and you were saying... So, your ability... Um, your condition affects your legs. Right. So you were telling me how when you were younger, at what point, at what age did you start walking? I started walking at four. Okay. So it was a lot of let's let's carry Marquise or let's push him in the wheelchair. And he he actually helped me take my first steps at four years old. Okay. And his name is? Daryl, my cousin mm -hmm. Daryl. He he actually requires a he expects a lot of me because he knows how strong I am. So when people see us together, the way, the way he speaks might come off as like he's being authoritative, but it's only because he's always been that way with me. Because he res he respects me and he expects a lot of me, and I, I I appreciate it as a person. Okay. So, now tell me how school was. Did you start school on time? Did you start school late? How, how was that? Um, uh, in elementary school, I was in a mainstream program with other disabled children. But once they saw that I had the ability and the mindset, I tested out the mainstream. And then I was put in regular classes. And I did very well, to much to some people's surprise. Um... Because they assumed, I guess, by looking at you and the way you walk, that maybe something that was something going on cognitively in, that as well. something intellectual was messed up, but it was, that's not the case. No, not at all. That's not. <laughs> so, how, how did the your classmates treat you? Um, it, it basically depended on what year it was, and I think it came from a lot of not knowing. Right. Because, be, right, because a lot of ch young children not, are not taught about something that deep that early on in life. Okay. So it's like they kind of react to what they see. And perception is not reality. Okay. I need people to understand that. Because with how you perceive me mm. is not necessarily what I'm trying to show you, but it's just because you're looking at me out of one set of eyes right. instead of opening up and seeing me for the person, you see the disability. So there were, at times, there was a lot of laughing and teasing and joke making. But as time grow went on, I started to form relationships with these people and they would see Oh, he's just like us, and especially when they saw I got better grades than they did. <laughs> That's one way to show it. You right. Know? You want to look on my test now. Right, because <laughs> on paper is always where it counts. There you go. So. Okay. So, now, after you uh, finished school, and what elementary school did you go to? I went to Greenfield on 22nd and Chestnut. And then what high school did you go to? I went to Furness on 3rd and Mifflin. That was like the, I, I wouldn't call it the worst experience of my life, but if I had to go back and change anything, it would be that. Okay, why? Because there, there there's times where I felt like I just didn't fit. Okay. I just felt like that wasn't the place for me. Alright. Now, but, now what, what made you feel that way? It, it was more so like group interaction and I went through several different things with some students there and this is, again it was because of them not knowing they got to know me but it was like 
you, you just, we just don't fit. We just don't click. And I was like, I have to see these people. And, and oftentimes I would come home and say, I, I don't want to be there. I don't, I, I don't want to go back there. Cause I, you, you just get tired after right. a while. You just. So how do you think you got through that time of your life? Honestly, that's, that, that is like the hardest question to answer because when I still talk to some people from there now, it's like they're not even half of in the place where, where I am. Okay. So it's not necessarily about me getting through. It's just that I learned what I needed to okay. about those people. There you go. Because um, you're not going to get along with everybody.